Marfan Syndrome by Teja Punjungi. Abraham Lincoln was always the tallest kid in his grade. Because of his abnormal height, he enjoyed playing a game called basketball. In order to join his school team, his coach required that he must have a physical with him. So he went to his doctor's office. As soon as Abe got there, the doctor realized that Abe was abnormally tall and that he had long arms, legs, and fingers. Abe also had an awkward chest formation. The doctor did many of his tests to try and diagnose Abe with the specific syndrome. The doctor finally diagnosed Abe with Marfan syndrome. The doctor showed Abe's family this picture. He told them that the, the syndrome occurs on chromosome 15, and the exact location of the affected gene is 15q21.1. He said that the gene that was mutated was called FBN1. Abe's parents wanted lots more information about the gene. The doctor told Abe's parents that the gene codes for a protein known as fibrillin-1. It attaches or binds to other fibrillin-1 proteins and other mo molecules to form thread-like filaments called microfibrils. Microfibrils become part of fibers that provide strength and flexibility to connective tissue. Additionally, microfibrils store molecules called growth factors and release them at various times to control the growth and repair of tissues and organs throughout the body. A mutation in the FBN1 gene can reduce the amount of functional fibrillin-1 that is available to form microfibrils, which leads to decreased microfibril formation. As a result, excess growth factors are released, and elasticity in t many tissues is decreased, leading to overgrowth and instability of tissues. This, this lot of information was found in the Genetic Home Reference Database. Abe was very curious and asked how his doctor knew he had the syndrome. The doctor told Abe that he had many of the symptoms. He said that the most obvious ones were skeletal deformities. He had super long arms, legs, toes, and fingers. The other symptom that it was obvious was myopia, which is extreme nearsightedness. He also had many other symptoms, such as chest deformities. He told Abe's family that the most life-threatening symptom of Marfan syndrome was abnormalities in heart and blood vessels. As normal parents should, they asked for treatments. Unfortunately, the doctor said there are no cures for the syndrome, and scientists are yet to t find out what type of mutation it is. However, they can treat the many symptoms he has. One of the treatments is physical therapy. The other one is laser eye surgery to treat his myopia. These were the best options possible for his family and him. The doctor told Abe's family that this will impact his life greatly. He will no longer be able to play sports, the one thing he loved. However, Abe's life will either be centered around the syndrome or barely affected by it, depending on how he handles it. In the future, Abe will no longer be able to take part in hard or physical work. The doctor told them that there is lots and lots of research underway to identify the various mutations that cause the disorder, mainly to find out the type of mutation that causes it. However, later in Abe's life, he becomes the President of the United States, and the syndrome barely affects him. Thank you for watching this presentation of Abe's life. The work cited is in the description of this video below.